Welcome to Off-Grid Victory. So, um, yeah, the dark winter and what's happening in Texas and throughout the, uh, the southern mid uh, states, uh, it's pretty tragic that people have to die for the lack of heat. Now, um, uh, my pastor always tells people, you know, get, uh, get a wood stove wherever you are. If you can, you know, obviously you'd have to be away from the cities, but get a wood stove for heat. Uh, whether you live in the um, suburban areas or the rural areas, you should also always have supplemental heat. Now, uh, HVAC, uh, whether you're on propane or natural gas, um, could always go down if the electricity goes down. And so it's always great to have a wood stove as a secondary source. And of course, you could cook on top of your wood stove too. So. Uh, yes, so wood stove is uh, something uh, highly recommended, and it's kind of too late for a lot of guys in Texas to think about that. But uh, for anybody who's doing new construction uh, or moving or thinking about buying a home, uh, yes, definitely buy a home with a, a wood burning stove in it or, um, or put one in after the fact, because you'll definitely need it for times like this when you have no electricity. Now, the other thing I want to talk about are the, are the city dwellers. Uh, the nature of this video is how do city dwellers uh, survive when they can't have something like a wood stove like this uh, to burn inside their apartments and things like that. Um, and whether you're a city dweller or um, a suburbanite, this right here is your go-to. Now, this is so versatile. This is a Mr. Buddy heater. Um, I mean, it's sad that people had to die of carbon monoxide poisoning because they're burning charcoal or barbecue grills inside their home. I mean, that's pretty ridiculous. Uh, but, you know, common sense is definitely not common these days. So anyway, back to the little buddy heater. This thing is so portable. You can take it on camping. You can, um, you know, you can put a, a full size uh, barbecue uh, propane canister behind it or the one pound uh, canister behind it. And it has a low oxygen sensor in there, so you shouldn't have any uh, carbon monoxide problems. And it burns pretty clean. Um, I think it burns over 94% uh, clean. I could be wrong about that number, but look at the uh, Mr. Buddy Heater, uh, Mr. Heater site. So uh, this little guy here, Portable Buddy, is what I would recommend for uh, the city apartment dwellers to have just as a backup, because obviously you're not going to be able to light um, you know, barbecue grill, things like that. And so it reminds me of the last thing, the nature of this video, the emergency prep idea for a dark winter. Uh, whether you're in the city, in an apartment, or whether you're um, in suburbia, the last thing that goes out is this guy. Let me show you that. And this is your ordinary range, but it's not just an ordinary range. You see, I have power to it and that's not what I want to focus on today. I want to focus on the fact that this stovetop range is uh, uh, uses natural gas or propane, and in my case I use propane. We're off-grid, right? So anyway, uh, propane is another source of, uh, of heat that you can store um, for years. Um, it's only combustible if it's not stored properly. And so, yeah, if you have canisters, you, you're, you can pretty much store them inside as well. At any rate, let's say the scenario is you're in an apartment and uh, you don't have a, Mr., a little Mr. Buddy heater. You don't have a wood stove. Well, most of you guys have this. Now, this stove, uh, the way you would work it is, let's say the electricity goes out, right? So it would just, I'm just, I don't know if you can hear that but it's going. So anyway, I just turned it off. So the way you would do it is, yes, if you have an ignition, just ignite it. Now, if you don't have an ignition, what you, ignition, what you can do, you can ignite it with a heat source like this. Oh, I don't know if you just saw that, but anyway, you can ignite it with something like this or a lighter and get that to go. Now, in terms of carbon monoxide, I used to live in New York City and uh, Back in the day, uh, decades ago, there were power outages when it was this cold. Uh, we didn't get to like negative nine like it is here uh, in the Ozarks, um, but it was cold enough that uh, it took out power lines 
and yeah, electricity didn't flow. And so, yeah, you couldn't ignite anything. But if you're lucky enough in the city to have a, a natural gas line uh, hooked up to your stove, well, hey, there's your heat. Now, use common sense, uh, have a secondary um, air source, crack your window a little bit to bring in fresh air. There is still carbon monoxide off these ranges. Um, I think it's like 90% efficient or so. So yeah, don't run this without having a cold air uh, draft coming into your, your house, your premise, your apartment, whatever it is. But this is a way you can stay alive and, uh, and not do the foolish things that some people did, which cost them their lives. So yes, uh, in an emergency situation, you can use the range, be safe with it. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and uh, hopefully uh, people won't die for the not lack of knowledge. So yeah, a range, a stove range, a cooktop range is another way to go. If you don't have that, this is the best thing after that. Um, propane heaters as well, you can get um, uh, kerosene heaters as well, but in a city apartment, this guy is very stealthy. You can hide it away, especially with those one pound uh, canisters have it in your closet ready to go and uh yeah you'll be uh you'll be safe uh in this dark winter all righty shalom